So, as you can see, I've already wrapped the stainless steel wire around one. I've got my second one over here. And uh, <coughs> all I'm going to do is start wrapping it through the holes. Start wrapping it uh, through the holes over here. Uh, just cut this end off and make it look neat. So I'm just putting it through. Just leaving a little bit there so I can bend it up and make a connection. Essentially just taking it around and threading it through every second hole. Every second hole. Just like that. So I'll just carry this on until I get down to the bottom, but as you can see I'm just threading it through every second hole and then just pulling it through and I'm gonna end I'm gonna have a nice coil. So now as you can see I have my two bits of stainless steel wire, opposite one's going every second hole, that one's going every second hole, so one's going to be positive, negative, 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 positive. So now I'm going to go hook it up into my tube and then we'll take it from there. So now I'm going to drill a hole through my um, cap here, take this quarter 20 bolt using a quarter inch drill bit and I just one hole on that side, negative, and one hole on that side for the positive. So now my bolt will go through, I'm going to screw it through, it's a little tight so I've got to screw it through, I want that so because I don't want any air to leak out. Anyway, um, till the next time, um, I'll come back later and show you what else I'm going to be doing. Well, as you can see, what I've done is I've screwed the wire, so I've got uh, two points over here, and then all I need to do is put the wing nut on, connect my positive and negative, and then we're good to go. Now all I'm using for my voltage is an old cell phone charger, and it says that it is putting out 4.5 volts DC. I cut off the plug that goes into the cell phone, and it's got a red and a black wire, obviously positive and negative. I'm just going to hook it up to those two, submerge it in the water with the baking soda, and we'll be producing gas. Okay, so now I've plugged my battery charger in for my cell phone. I'm going to check to see the voltage. I'm getting 4.6 volts. I'm going to fill the tube here with distilled water. Make sure it's distilled water. And then I'm going to add some baking soda. I think for this amount, which is just under a gallon, we'll add two teaspoons. Now we need to stir it. Around. 
and you just screw this in. Screw it in tight. Just gonna so we have it here tight here. And Okay, so now what you see is I'm just about to connect the power to the <coughs> generator with uh, 4.6 volts. And as you can see, as soon as I connect it, it instantly starts producing gas. Over here, you can see the gas being produced instantly as I have now connected the power to the top of the generator. This one over here I've just got a shut off valve because I didn't want any gas to escape that way. As you can see the gas is coming straight through there and it is going down into that glass over there and creating hydrogen gas.